Hey, thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily craft any Eldritch item, uh, which is a glove, chest, boots, or helmet, uh, with six good mods uh, that's going to be extremely, extremely good and for very budget. So let's get into it. This is the requirements for you to be able to do this. You must have a essence mod that you want and a desirable fracture that are both suffixes. Uh, if you're playing an SSF, you need to have a decent fractured base already. If you're on Trade League, it's going to be really easy to just buy one. So an example would be a Chaos Resist, uh, which is an NV Essence, and Spell Suppression uh, as a fractured suffix. And then you also need to be okay with having your third suffix be an Elemental Resist. And I'll explain why that is later. Uh, so here's an example of the three suffixes that you might need to be okay with. Chaos Resist, Suppression, and uh, Fire Resist. And then you also want to have uh, an item that has a crafted mod that's a prefix that you want to put on it. So here's an example. Here's a chest. Here's our fracture, which is suppression. Our essence, which is chaos resist. And our elemental resist, which is our third suffix. And then here's our two prefixes that we're going to hit. And then a crafted prefix. And now here's the glove example. Uh, this is an accuracy fracture with an attack speed essence and then an elemental resist for the third suffix, and then two prefixes that we want to get, and then one crafted prefix. So the first step is to decide which essence suffix you want. So you can go to PUEDB, and if you scroll down, you'll see the essence suffixes. Uh, so choose one that you want. So for example, if you're crafting gloves, you might choose one of these, an attribute, crit, attack speed, or chaos resist. Once you choose one of those, you need to choose another suffix that you want to have fractured. So here's some other options for glove fractures. You could choose suppression, resist, regen, accuracy, or attack speed. Uh, it needs to be different than whatever essence you choose, obviously. Uh, so here's an example on gloves, accuracy, fracture, attack speed, essence. Okay. Now you need to buy a base. So because we're going for elemental resist as our third suffix, uh, the, the reason we do that is because when you're using essences, Essences, or excuse me, elemental resists usually make up a huge portion of the waiting pool uh, for suffixes. So it's really easy to hit a third suffix and get a good elemental resist. You can see on gloves here, they make up 24,000 of the 66,000 waiting. Uh, so check the item level of the base you're going to buy. Make sure it's high enough item level to hit the mods you want. 84 is usually tier 1 for resists uh, and get the appropriate item level. Fractured bases should be cheap. There's a ton of them available now since the Arch Nemesis changes. Uh, so don't spend more than about 30 C or so. Uh, here's an example of a high, high tier 1 accuracy fracture. You can get one of these for less than 30 C. Uh, okay. So the base type, a quick note on that. If you're crafting a chest, for example, and you want to scale the defenses, then you need to choose the right base. Okay. Because you're going to need that a good base to scale the defenses. But if you're not crafting... A, a chest or a shield, then the specific base type is not like super, super important. The fracture is more important than the base type, in my opinion. All right, so now once you have your base, you start using essences, and then until you get both of these, an elemental resist that's high enough for you, that could be 30, 35, 40, however much you want, and then one good prefix. So in a glove example, you'd be going for either life or damage, uh, say, or on boots, here's a boot example, uh, you'd be using an ailment avoid essence and then a suppression fracture and you'd be going for a elemental resist. So here's your three suffixes and then one good prefix, which might be life or movement speed. Once you have one prefix, you need to get your second prefix. Now, before you start this step, make sure your item is searing XR dominant by adding a higher tier ember than uh, Icker. If you, you can just add on any ember and that should work. Uh, if you have only one good prefix and no other prefix, you can block an undesirable mod by crafting it on. So on gloves, for example, evasion has a really high weighting, so you can come to the crafting bench and block that. And then you exalt slam. Uh, in this example here, we are looking for life or fizz damage. Uh, if you hit it, then you're pretty much done. If you slam on a bad prefix, or if you already had a second prefix when you rolled your essence, then you need to annul it off. Uh, so if you put on a crafted mod, take it off first, 
Uh, so in this example here, you would remove the crafted evasion that you tried to block with, uh, and then go for an Eldritch Anul to remove this bad mod. And then if you hit it, you can go back again and exalt again until you get your second prefix. If your Anul fails uh, and you remove your prefix, then you can go back to Essences uh, and go from there again. Uh, or if you want to spend, if you're okay with spending a lot of currency, you can just exalt, slam, and annul until you get the prefixes you want. But these currencies are much more expensive than essences, so that method is going to be very, very expensive compared to going back to essences. But this is an option if you have a lot of currency. Eventually, you will get a second good prefix. Uh, so, like in this glove example here, I got uh, damage and life. And so once I hit this life, uh, the craft is pretty much done. And now you can craft on your third prefix, which will be your last mod, and now you have a really good item that has six good mods. Uh, you can now finish up your sockets, colors, links, quality, uh, and now you can do your implicits. So you can add the embers and ickers that you need to hit the uh, implicits that you want. So like on a chest, you could put on fortify or crit multi, uh, and then also, if you're going for a high tier uh, orb of conflict level implicit, like plus two strikes, for example, you can now uh, go for that step. Uh, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. Uh, and that's it. You're done. The, this is really easy method of crafting that will get you a, f a fantastic item. Uh, this is how much you can expect to spend on a fractured base, maybe 10 to 30 C. Uh, for essences, you might need anywhere from 20 to 100, depending on whether you use deafening or not, and which essence you choose. And then maybe 1 to 10 exalted orbs, and 1 to 10 anole orbs. And uh, this is your total approximate cost. Okay, you could do this for as cheap as 70 C, uh, but it might, if you get unlucky, you might spend uh, 5 or 600 C uh, or more if you get extremely unlucky. Uh, so yeah, extremely budget uh, crafting method here. So here's an example of the chest that I crafted. I spent about 200 seed to craft this chest uh, using this exact method. Uh, if you were to try to buy this chest, either or any item that you can craft like this, it's either not going to exist at all, or it's going to be worse than your item. Like this one's 15 divines on sale right now, and it's worse than the one I crafted. Mine is better. Okay, this only has 1900 evasion. Mine has almost 3000 evasion. Okay, uh, or, so it's either it's not going to exist, it's going to be worse, or it's going to cost five times as much as you would spend crafting it, or maybe even ten times as much. So, craft your items yourself. Don't spend a ton of divines buying these items when you can just craft them yourself for a fraction of the cost uh, using this method. Uh, that's it. Quick video for this one. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Like the video. If you have any questions about this method, you can leave me a comment. Uh, if you look on my channel, I have full videos that I did on how to craft this chest and these gloves. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, you can check them out. I uh, go through the entire process from buying the base to completely done. Uh, so yeah, check those out. And uh, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time.